What's up everybody, this is Jesse from Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to unlock the bootloader on your Nexus 5. Unlocking the bootloader is the first thing you want to do if you want to root your device or install custom ROMs or do any kind of tinkering just in general, the first thing you have to do is unlock your bootloader. Lucky for us, unlocking the bootloader on the Nexus 5 is a very simple process, and it can seem a little daunting, but I'm going to walk you through it, it's pretty easy. The first thing you have to do, oh, be warned, if you unlock your bootloader, it is going to erase all the data on your phone, all of it. It's going to be like a factory reset. Your phone's going to look like it first looked like when you got it out of the box, like it was brand new. So anything that's important to you, anything you care about, you're going to want to back up all that stuff. You're going to want to make sure that everything you care about is synced to your Google account, your contacts, your Gmail, things like that. Um, if you want to save your text messages, there are apps in the Play Store you can download to do that. Um, just make sure you have everything backed up that you care about so that when you unlock your bootloader, you turn your phone on, you can just put everything you want back on your phone. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you have to download the uh, Android SDK tools. Um, I found a slim version of that that won't take that long to download. Uh, there's a link in the full tutorial. Go ahead and click on it. And then you have to click on this download tab right here. And you see there's three different download icons. It's pretty confusing. It's ridiculous. It's the internet. I know. It's crazy. Just hit this middle one. This is what's actually going to download the file for you. So I'm click that. You can see that that is now being downloaded. Show all downloads. Okay. So we got Android SDK Slim.zip. I'm going to show in folder so we can navigate to it. So this is what's going to look like. Make sure it's Android SDK Slim. This is the file that you want. Um, to make things easier to navigate, I'm just going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it SDK so that I know where to go to. And I'm just going to take this file and I'm going to drag it over here, drop it here, so that we can find it whenever we're looking for it. And open the folder. You're going to need to extract it. You can extract it with whatever extractor you want to use. I think I'm using WinRAR. You can use 7-Zip. There's a lot of great free programs out there. Extract it here. Once it's extracted, um, click on the folder. Make sure that everything's here. This is what you want to see. You're going to see API, SysTrace, these tools. This is all. This is what you're going to need for uh, your PC to talk to your Android phone once you plug it in so you can issue the commands that you need to do. Once you've downloaded these files, you're going to change a few settings on your phone, on your device, and then you're going to start the phone in the bootloader, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go over to the phone. Okay, now that we're looking at our Nexus 5s, we got to just change a couple of settings to make sure that our PCs can communicate with our phones so that we can issue some commands. So we're going to go to Settings. You're going to have to enable Developer Options. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to About Phone. Once you're here, you go down to build number and you're actually going to keep tapping this. You're going to have to tap it five or six times. For me, it says no need, you're already a developer, but you're going to keep hitting it until you see a message that says tap four more times, tap three more times. If you tap it enough, it unlocks developer mode. Not sure why they do that, but once you do, you can go down to developer options. It's kind of like a, a hidden section of the settings that you don't normally see. You're going to go here. You are going to come down to US debugging. You're going to check that box. You get this little warning that says, you know, make sure you know what you're doing. Hit OK. Once you do that, you're going to be good to go. Now you're going to have to turn your phone off and turn it back on and make sure that it's in the bootloading option menu. So we're going to power down the device. Hit power down here. The phone's going to shut down. We're going to now hold in the volume down key as we're holding in the power button like this phone's going to turn on and this is what you're going to see you got the android mascot here down here open up because we're ready to tinker um, you go down it says lock state locked down here that means that the bootloader is currently locked but that's going to change pretty soon so now you're going to turn you're going to plug your phone into your pc using your micro usb cord and then you're going to issue the command so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so your phone is currently in fast boot mode, and at this point it should be connected to your PC with the micro USB cable. Once that's done, get back on your PC and go back to um, go back to the Android SDK folder. So if you don't remember, it's going to look like this. Um, you click Platform Tools. Make sure that you're in this 
um, subsection here because this is where you need to actually issue the command props and the commands to unlock the bootloader. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hold in the shift key on your computer and then you're going to right click and then you're going to get an option open command window here. You're going to click that. You get this directory here and you're going to type in we are going to type in fast boot devices with the space between fast boot and devices. Okay, so if you do that, you should see your phone's serial number right here. If you don't see it, that means that your phone, your computer probably doesn't have the right drivers that it needs to have for your phone. You're gonna make, you're gonna want to make sure you download those. You can check that out in the full tutorial. I have a troubleshooting section where you can go and make sure they have the right drivers on your computer so that your computer and your phone can talk to each other. Make sure that everything's okay. So if you type in fast boot devices and you see your phone's serial number, that means you're good to go. So now we're going to actually unlock the bootloader. So again, remember, this is going to wipe all the data on your phone. So make sure you're good to go before you proceed. If you're ready, type in fast boot OEM unlock. You're going to have spaces between fast boot and OEM and unlock and hit enter. When you do that, you're going to see the three dots in the command prompt. You're going to see a message on your phone that says unlock bootloader. It's going to have a question saying, are you sure this is what you're going to, this is what you want to do? Um, and then you're going to hit yes. So this is what the message on your phone is going to look like once you issue that command on your computer. It's going to say unlock bootloader. Bootloader, you see you've got this long warning here about what's going to go down if you do that. Go ahead and hit yes. Again, make sure you're ready to do this. It's going to delete everything on your phone. Once you do that, Oh, you actually got to use the volume keys to do that, I should mention. You can't just select it. So we're going to do volume up, and then we're going to hit the power button to make that selection. And this is how we know that our phone's working, that the command is working. Right down at the bottom, it says erasing, a very ominous thing, but it's a good thing for our purposes here. When your phone is doing this, make sure that you don't unplug it from your computer. Um, you don't want the phone to turn off. You don't want to interrupt the process in any way. Okay, now you should see a red message down here that says lots, lock state unlocked. That means you have now unlocked your bootloader. Everything's done. You, you succeeded. You're on your, it's the first step of a long journey. It's going to be a fun journey. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions, check out the full tutorial. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.